Hi there friends, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to add a watermark right into your Apple Pages document. Super simple, let's do it right now. Okay, so let's say you have a standard company document that you just want to have a watermark always show up on each of the pages. Now I'm going to show you something, again, super simple. Please be creative with this. This is not not going to be the best example of what you should use for a watermark, but it'll give you an idea. So first things first, we need an image that we want to use as our watermark. So I've got this little shields image over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop this right into my document. As you can see, it shows up and all of a sudden jumbles all of our words. We're going to fix that here in just a minute. If for some reason you don't have an image right on your desktop, all you need to do is place your cursor where you want that image to show up. And then come over here and click on this media button. And then you can choose based off of where you have your media that you want to use as your image located. Okay, so we've got our image that we want to use as a watermark. Now obviously this image is full color, it's really messing our, up our formatting, and we need it to really just be faded into the background. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first we're gonna to need to format the picture. So once I click on this, we get a little side menu that opens up with a few different options. First thing we're gonna do is come over here to the Arrange menu option, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to this little text wrap drop down menu. I'm gonna click on that, and what we want to do is click on the None button. As soon as we click on that, this basically becomes a free-floating image that will not affect the text that's on the page. So at this point, what you can do is you can just drag this image wherever you want it. I'm actually going to leave it up here covering the text because I want to show you what it looks like when text is overwritten onto a watermark. So let me just leave it straight up in this area right here. Okay, at this point we need to make this nice and opaque or faded so that it bleeds into the background and allows the text to be seen. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, again, make sure you have selected your image. We're gonna come back over here and we're gonna click on the style menu option. What we're gonna do then is come down here to the opacity settings and I'm gonna grab this little slider with my mouse and I'm just gonna slide it back until I have the right fade option. You can get it completely disappeared, just barely showing up, or again, as, as dark as you want it. I'm gonna leave it right about there. Now, as you can see, once it's set to that low fade setting, the text pushes through just perfectly. Again, this is a bad example of a watermark. Maybe you just have your initials under here or your company logo that's real basic, that's underneath the text, but that's again up to you based off of the image that you want to use. Now, one more thing we need to do to make sure this watermark shows up on all of our pages, if that's what you desire, is to select it and create a master object out of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come up here to the Arrange drop-down menu, and I'm gonna come down to the very last selection. You can see it says Selection Masters. And then I'm gonna click on Move Object to Selection Master. Once I click that, Pages is now going to see this watermark as something you want to show up on all of your pages. Now we can test this out a little bit by coming over here. We can click on the add page icon. And as you can see, I scroll down to page two and there you go. Our watermark is now automatically set up for us and ready to write. Friends, I hope this has helped. Again, it's a real basic example of how you can insert watermarks and get a little bit creative with them. If this has, please hit that thumbs up button. It lets us know we're making helpful videos. And subscribe because we got a bunch more Apple Pages tutorials that we're making really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching.